because you go to work or school, you're just going to spread the infection to them. Students aren't the only ones at home with the flu. Many school employees are also taking time off. Now, coming up at 6, you'll hear more from the remaining basketball players who are doing what they can to keep the team going. King Hussein has returned home to the prayers of his subjects and fears about the future of the Middle East. Two F-16 fighter jets from Duluth escorted the Royal plane out of Rochester, Minnesota yesterday into Canadian airspace. The King, a longtime influence in the region, is said to have just hours to live. With reports that their king is near death, Jordanians are gathering outside his hospital. Hussein's wife, Queen Noor, accompanied him on the plane, and she's been at his bedside through the day. Sources say relatives have been visiting as well. Former Jordanian prime ministers gathered today to discuss preparations for the 63-year-old king's funeral. Duluth police have three people in custody in connection with two armed robberies. A 20-year-old man, a 17-year-old, and a 16-year-old will be charged on Monday. The gang strike task force assisted the investigation. Police say other people may be involved. We'll have further details tonight on News 6 at 6. Turning to other news, the president and first lady honored several Northlanders at the White House today for their work in microenterprise. It's a special recognition to firms that help small businesses get started. Awards went out to six microenterprise development firms in the U.S., including Mary Matthews from Northeast Entrepreneurial Fund in Virginia. Matthews loin, rather loaned money to Carol Willoughby for her business, Let the Whole World Know. At a White House ceremony today, Clinton explained how microenterprises help provide opportunity for low-income inco entrepreneurs, many of them former welfare recipients. The president's budget includes increased funding for loans and technical and training assistance for firms. We recognize that for the vast majority of micro-entrepreneurs, good ideas and credit are just the beginning. A little guidance, lessons on accounting, billing, planning, those things are essential for any business to thrive in a complex economy. Pro enterprise businesses usually employ five people or less with startup costs less than $25,000. President Clinton also said his administration will continue working with the World Bank to make more micro enterprise loans available to developing countries. While the president is honoring Northlanders today, his impeachment trial resumes tomorrow morning. And that's when the public will get its first look at how Monica Lewinsky answered questions during her deposition this week. Parts of her deposition, along with those of Vernon Jordan and Sidney Blumenthal, will be shown on the Senate floor as House managers and White House lawyers present evidence in the trial. Congress released transcripts of those depositions today, and Beverly Kirk has the latest now from Washington. Monica Lewinsky says she has mixed feelings about President Clinton. She says he never told her to file a false affidavit in the Paula Jones case, but she also cast doubt on the president's statement he told her she'd have to turn over gifts if they were subpoenaed. House manager Ed Bryant questioned Lewinsky and says she was very guarded in her answers, not wishing to harm the president. I think she still very much supports the Bill Clinton as the president and certainly does not support what we're doing. But Bryant says some of what Lewinsky had to say about the various counts in the perjury and obstruction of justice articles will help the manager's case. She had knowledge on most of them. She didn't have knowledge on some of them, but she supported us on every one of those. Meantime, the public will probably also see clips from Vernon Jordan and Sidney Blumenthal's depositions, and White House lawyers will use the tapes to make their case. Her work at Emily's Although they don't believe the depositions will provide any new information. As far as I can tell, it provides no uh, uh, evidence that there was any perjury or any obstruction of justice, and that's what it is we're talking about here. Meantime, senators from both parties are pushing to open up their final deliberations on the articles of impeachment, which under current rules would be held in private. Beverly Kirk, NBC News, Washington. Minnesota Senator Paul Wellstone is among nine Democrats who broke with other Democrats to permit House prosecutors to use videotape depositions. Wisconsin Democrat Russ Feingold was the only Democrat to vote with Republicans to proceed to final arguments. Well, switching gears now to weather, it was a mixed bag outside today. Sure was. George is in the weather garden. George, there was some snow and what seemed like a little ice balls falling.
Okay, we're having problems with the audio. We'll get back with George in just a you moment. You bet. Minnesota's new governor is facing a challenge in the state house already. When we come back, we'll put you in touch with the tax rebate debate. And later, more positive news if you're a wine drinker. Details on that. And we'll update you on the giant mirror in space. Will the Russians light up the Earth? Find out on Live at 5. Keeping you in touch with today's news with Michelle Lee, Mark Mallory, meteorologist George Kessler, and special reports from Barbara Riles. You're watching News 6, live at 5. In the Northland, there's a story behind every Ford Oval. Our winter trips used to look like military operations. Not this year. My new F-150 streamlined the whole thing. It's standard four doors makes it more than a truck. It's a personnel carrier. And the Triton V8 means six snowmobiles, one truck. Right now, lease the Northland Edition F-150 with four door standard for only $285 a month. Operation Snowmobile, move it out! For your story, see your Northland Ford store. It may be cold outside, but at Slumberland Furniture... The savings are hot, 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 man. During winter's hottest sale, it's like nothing you've ever seen before. That's right. During winter's hottest one-day sale this Saturday at Slumberland, get this gorgeous rice bed for just $2.99 or this luxurious four-piece leather group for just $12.88. And register to win a fabulous cruise for two to the sun-drenched Caribbean. Don't miss winter's hottest one-day sale this Saturday only at Slumberland Furniture. <laughs> it's gonna be hot, man. Dish Network is breaking the rules by offering you a free digital satellite TV system. Just sign up for the one-year Dish Network one-rate plan to qualify to receive a rebate for the price of your system. So join Dish Network and enjoy hundreds of all digital satellite TV channels. So for the best value in TV entertainment, call or visit SNS Cable Alternative. Now in three locations, Duluth, Superior, and Cloquet. NBC Tonight, first on Providence, America's favorite new drama. What's going on with this baby? Millions have found something to believe in. I think I might know what's wrong with Christopher. Then on Dateline, Katie Couric's heartbreaking exclusive interview with the parents of Matthew Shepard, the victim of a violent hate crime that shocked America. Finally on Homicide, a serial killer live on the internet. At midnight, he will kill again. We have less than 10 minutes to get to her. All new Homicide following Dateline and the acclaimed new drama Providence, NBC Tonight. The Capitol Press Corps is on alert today. The governor could be packing heat. Even though Jesse Ventura got a permit to carry a concealed weapon last week, state law had stopped him from packing heat in the Capitol and other state buildings. But that's all changed starting today. Ventura has never been shy about showing off his gun collection. And now Public Safety Commissioner Charlie Weaver has signed an authorization for the governor to carry a handgun in any state building. Ventura spokesman John Woodley says the governor does not intend to use the privilege. He says Ventura sought the authorization as an insurance policy, just in case he ever forgot that he was carrying a gun and found himself inside a state building. Ventura has said he probably would carry his weapon only if he didn't have a state patrol guard and if he was concerned for his safety. Well, the governor may want to bring out the big guns to push his tax rebate plan through the state legislature. Dennis Stauffer reports nearly everyone wants to send taxpayers a rebate. So it's more than a little ironic that on an issue with so much agreement, there is so much disagreement over how to do that. Number one on the fiscal calendar, printed page number 14, an act relating to taxation. The battle is over who gets that rebate, with DFLers pushing for the governor's plan that they say helps low-income Minnesotans and the elderly. And it's senior citizens who have been paying taxes for 50, 60, 70 years whether times were good or times were bad. And we shouldn't forget those senior citizens. And this is why this plan, the governor's plan, is more fair to Minnesotans. But Republicans say that approach is not fair to those who paid the surplus taxes. This is the income redistributionist scheme. This is all built upon supposition. This is a voodoo rebate proposal, members. Make no mistake about it. House Republicans want to rebate 20% of 1997 income taxes, with a minimum rebate of $150, and a maximum of 7600 Today, they tacked on an amendment to also do a property tax rebate of up to $450 million if certain other bills pass. 
The governor's sales tax rebate is capped at $2,000, with more going to lower and middle income taxpayers. The bill before the Senate takes the governor's plan and adds a flat $50 rebate to those Minnesotans not otherwise covered by the plan. The House debate has been bitterly partisan at times, with one Republican sarcastically giving the new House chaplain credit for converting DFLers. We now have 63 born-again, believing tax cutters. They weren't here last March. Y'all just voted against every tax cut and rebate proposal we proposed. But since Chaplain Titus has come aboard, you have seen the light. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the Republicans passed their rebate version after all of that. But now the plan will have to be reconciled with the governor's plan that DFLers are expected to push through the Senate. Well, we broke out of the really cold temperatures again. And the snow seems to be hit and miss across the Northland. Get the weekend forecast from George when we come back. But first, here's a look at what's coming up tonight at 530. I'm Tom Brokaw. Tonight, they're supposed to be the answer to better care HMOs, but doctors and patients' complaints are now skyrocketing. Americans should be very worried. What's happened to manage health care in America? We'll tell you more about it tonight on NBC Nightly News. It's been a busy month for Governor Jesse Ventura. Coming up tonight on News 6 at 10, we'll take a look back at the governor's first 30 days in office. What has he done right? What has he done wrong? And what will he do for the Northland? We'll have an exclusive interview with the governor himself, plus talk to his fellow lawmakers about the former wrestler's transition to the state's highest office. Don't miss our exclusive report on New 6 at 10. When the weather's this cold, there's only one thing to do. Meltdown. At the new Kohler Superstore in Hermantown, our prices and payments are so hot, we're starting to meltdown. During our zero down meltdown sale, Lease or buy one of over 300 cars, trucks, vans, or sport utilities for as little as $1.99 a month. Many with zero down. $1.99 a month. Zero down. It's the zero down meltdown. Through Saturday at the new Kohler Superstore in Hermantown. So it's our wedding anniversary. And to celebrate, my wife and I blow into the Twin Cities like a couple boot camp Marines with a weekend pass. Immediately after checking into our hotel, we rushed to catch a Broadway play. The next day, we're inspired by one great museum after another, which leads to a romantic candle at dinner. And for dessert, the world-famous Minnesota Orchestra. Sunday, we take a leisurely stroll around the lakes, catch a ball game, and afterward, discover the greatest, most unsuspecting little hole-in-the-wall blues joint we've ever seen. All said, we have more fun than any married couple should be allowed. And we'll never forget our wonderful Twin Cities weekend as long as we live because exactly three months shy of our next anniversary, we get a beautiful goo-gooin', doo-dooin', long-term reminder of how, just like the people who live here, a Minnesota vacation's pretty darn nice. Courage Duluth invites you to enter the Spirit of Gitche Gumi cross-country ski race Saturday, February 20th at Spirit Mountain. Enjoy the beautiful view of Lake Superior as you help Courage Duluth raise money for needed adaptive sports equipment for program participants in the area. Registration is open to adults and children and to all skill levels from competitive to recreational. For more information, call Courage Duluth. The Spirit of Gitche Gumi Cross Country Ski Race, Saturday, February 20th at Spirit Mountain. Brought to you by New Six and these fine sponsors. George Kessler's weather is certified by the American Meteorological Society. Well, Michelle says we need a nice weekend. I think we do. Mm -hmm. Last weekend was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. We need I another can, one. I can remember trooping out and sledding last weekend, and I think you'll have more of an opportunity to do that. It's not going to be perfect, but it is going to be a nice weekend. Good. All right. Let's take a look. Temperatures across the region. 32 degrees. Got warm out there. Yesterday at this time, it was 6 or 7, and eventually warmed up to 8, I think, by 6 o'clock. So our temperatures have done very nicely in this warm-up. Amazing. Our, it doesn't happen like this a lot of times. Usually what you will see are the temperatures, eh, you know, they get really cold, and then it takes about a week to chip away at that cold air. Not this year. 
cold air comes in, hangs around for 24 hours, and then boot, gone off to the east. A dew point is 23 winds out of the west today. There is your barometric pressure and your humidity at 69%. Numbers across the region, as quickly as the cold air comes in, it goes out. However, that cuts both ways, and so behind it, the cold air comes right back in behind it. Just little waves going by in the jet stream. As they go to our north, they haul in the warm air. As they go by us, winds swing around, and we do see the cold stuff returning. Almost 40 degrees down in the cities. Extraordinarily warm down there. Snow cover's taking a huge beating. But out to our west already getting colder. 21 in Devil's Lake, 18 in Grand Forks, 26 in Fargo. This is where the cooler air is going to be, but it will only last for a day. And then more warm air starts to rise into our region by Sunday. Temperatures across the country. All right, it was 8 at this time yesterday. This is a 24-hour map. Shows you that burst of cold air. There it was and just as quickly already sliding on off to the east right up there around Hudson Bay you do see temperatures in the teens below zero I should point this out as we speak it is 51 below zero in Bettles Alaska which is right smack dab in the middle of the state I think it's 45 below in Fairbanks so check that one too there's this monstrous puddle of cold air and eventually that puddle of cold air is going to waddle off of Alaska it's going to go somewhere we aren't really sure where it's going to go yet, although there's something that tells me by the second half of February that's just going to come pouring down the front range of the Rockies. So enjoy these mild temperatures while we have them. And I do think we are going to have them around during the weekend. 28 out there in Glasgow, Montana. Let's put the winds into motion over the last few hours. And this will go all the way into Saturday morning. See one front going by just as quickly. Here comes another one. This parade every 24 hours we'll be seeing these fronts crossing the region. What we had today was a case of the energy and the moisture doing one of these numbers. The energy, sure enough, went cruising right by our region. We did see some light snow showers, uh, but they didn't last for very long. Reason why? They had nothing to work with. All that moisture went surging across the middle part of the United States. Those two are linking up, but they're linking up over the southern parts of Michigan, well out of our region. Big storm, by the way, just off the New England coast looks pretty on the satellite picture but behind it here comes our weekend weather a very nice stretch before the last front in this whole series comes crashing in probably late on Sunday we will see the clouds increase with that snow tracker for today there were our limited amounts of snow that we did see across the region much more meaty precipitation though uh, for the lower peninsula of Michigan no oh, up, up around Traverse City it's snowing but as you head south they've had a mixture of sleet freezing rain and plain old rain Let's put our maps into motion for the weekend. For tonight, we say goodbye to that storm system. By Saturday, sunshine. Cold winds, though, out of the north. We will see a big decrease compared to today. And then by Sunday, here comes that next storm system. No moisture to work with, so we aren't expecting any inclemency late on Sunday, but we will see the clouds. Here's forecast for the overnight hours. Clearing and cooler back to the single digits, but that will occur late. If you have evening plans, it should be quite pleasant. Winds picking up out of the northwest after midnight. And then for tomorrow, chilly sunshine. Upper teens to lower 20s, which is precisely where we should be at this time of the year. Get on out and enjoy. Hit the cross-country trails, the downhill slopes, or maybe take your little ones for a little sledding excursion. Sure. So we're finally normal, so to speak. We'll have one normal day. And then okay. we go launching into next week where we will have a very odd mixture of weather. But I'll tell you about that at 6. Okay. Thank you, George. Yep. Up next, uh, New 6 Live at 5. You've got some reading to do the next time you pick up a bottle of wine. Find out in our Health Watch. And we'll put you in touch with important information on new asthma treatment serious side effects. Yeah, we got him. He's okay, but he's hungry. How hungry? He hasn't eaten in six days. He was stuck on his roof. Begin starvation treatment. Copy. We're on it. Timber Lodge Steakhouse. Hope you're hungry. In the Northland, there's a story behind every Ford Oval. Our winter trips used to look like military operations. Not this year. My new F-150 streamlined the whole thing. Its standard four doors makes it more than a truck. It's a personnel carrier. And the Triton V8 means six snowmobiles, one truck. Right now, lease the Northland Edition F-150 with four doors standard for only $285 a month. 
Operation Snowmobile, move it out! For your story, see your Northland Ford store. Remember the beautifully appointed home you dreamed of as a kid? The hours you spent arranging and rearranging furniture? The thrill of adding a new piece? At Schneiderman's Furniture, you can relive your childhood and create your very own full-scale dream home. The open wall concept, however, can be impractical in Minnesota. Got furniture? Kids grow up fast. Talk to them about sex. New six in the Minnesota State Lottery are giving you a chance to escape the winter chill with the Fun in the Sun Caribbean Cruise Contest, sponsored by North Star Ford. You could be one of two lucky winners of an all-expense-paid cruise for two. To register, watch meteorologist George Kessler on News 6 at 10, Monday through Friday. George will give a Caribbean location and temperature. Write it down and drop it off at North Star Ford or mail it to News 6. You could be the lucky winner of the Fun in the Sun Caribbean Cruise Contest, sponsored by North Star Ford. New wording is going to be added to wine labels to reflect the positive aspects of wine drinking. The label's wording was developed by the Coalition for Truth and Balance, an ad hoc group of 12 American wineries. The new labels will read, The proud people who made this wine encourage you to consult your family doctor about the health effects of wine consumption. The label has the approval of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms and other government agencies. The new label is not without its critics, though. Anti-alcohol lobbyists organize, organizations argue that it might encourage abuse. Well, if you have a child with asthma, you'll want to hear this next story. It's about a class of medications that has literally revolutionized asthma treatment. But now doctors may have discovered a new and troubling side effect. Barbara Riles joins us with the details. More children than ever before are using medications to control their asthma. Medical science is continually looking for the best way to handle the growing problem. With the changing technology, it's important for parents to keep in touch with their doctors to make sure their children are getting the best treatment for them. Come on, Jeremy! Nine-year-old Jeremy Engelberg is number one on the soccer field. That a boy, Jeremy. Good job. You'd never know he has asthma, except for the occasional cough once he slows down. Well, I'm going to take a listen to you breathe, okay? For a while, Jeremy was using an inhaler with corticosteroids for his asthma. They work by controlling the inflammation in the lungs and preventing damage to the airwaves. But recent research shows they carry a surprising side effect, slowing down a child's growth. The studies have shown that there can be some growth delay of anywhere between one and three centimeters. So in inches, you know, we're talking essentially about an inch. At this point, there's no proof that the growth slowdown is permanent. Inhaled medications are at extremely smaller doses and the dose is being applied directly to the lung tissue versus taking a pill that has to circulate throughout your entire body to finally get to your lungs. I was concerned enough to want to see if we can find other medication that will keep his asthma under control with not, with, without having that kind of side effect. Jeremy is now on a new drug called Singulair, and while it seems to be working for him, the drug is effective in only about half of those who try it. But since the corticosteroids are by far the most popular, the FDA is now requiring that about a dozen products be relabeled to carry the new warning. It's important to note that these drugs have been around for more than two decades, and dozens of studies have proven them to be safe and effective. Parents should make sure, however, that their doctors closely monitor children's growth if they're using this drug. Hmm, some interesting findings. Thanks a lot, Barbara. And we'll be right back. Dodge Dakota Club Cab's passenger room and available power can make its competition look like toys. Even though Dakota isn't a toy, it's really fun to play with in the snow. With available 4x4 traction and a responsive suspension, this truck handles snow like a charm. Right now, you can get a Dakota with a $1,000 cash allowance and a V8 upgrade at no extra charge. When you're ready to put away the toys, see Dakota at your friendly Dodge dealer.
Everybody today is saying that we've got the best for the least. And I think if people come into Avalon's, they'll find out that Avalon's really is a special store with beautiful things at beautiful prices. When we sell furniture, we want to make sure that it's tailor-made for your rooms. Good design is as much the vacant spaces in a room as it is where the furnishings are. And when we help people, generally speaking, we save them money. Avalon's annual housewarming sale. Great furniture, great savings. Every student strives with the desire to be the best they can be, but eventually every student must face snow days during the winter. Northland winters are rough, and when it comes time for school closings, turn to the official station for school closings, News 6. The News 6 Sunrise team keeps you in touch with a continuous list of the latest school closings. When you wake up, News 6 Sunrise is there with all the information you need to get your day started. On the days when you really need to stay in touch, turn to the official station for school closings. Sponsored by Cellular Specialists. Said it be like this. Watch meteorologist George Kester weeknights at 5, 6, and 10 on Channel 6. At least you can say they tried. Russian cosmonauts have given up on their attempt to reflect light onto the Earth. It's over for the much-hyped experiment to bounce light off a huge mirror in space. The big mirror was supposed to reflect the sun and send a beam of light to the Earth. The idea was to help light up sun-starved northern cities. The mirror was really made out of a reflective material and was folded up. Now, the problem was the cosmonauts aboard the space station had trouble getting the mirror to unfold. They tried for a couple of days but didn't have much luck. The cosmonauts decided to let the mirror head toward the Earth's atmosphere to burn up. What was left dropped harmlessly into the Pacific Ocean early today. And I tell you what, that was probably an expensive snafu. And I'm kind of glad it didn't work. Well, I don't know. It would have been kind of neat. Kind of messing with Mother Nature, though, don't you think, George? It's a mirror. Uh, real fashion. <laughs> I was going to say, well, <laughs> I'm not taking you to the next seminar. <laughs> Let's talk about weather. Okay. Good. Well, peace in our time and all that. Uh, clearing and colder tonight. Temperatures will be dipping down, but it'll be after midnight when the really cold surge hits. So if you have some evening plans, I wouldn't worry about it being Arctic-like. Winds out of the northwest, though, rising 10 to 15. Then for tomorrow, chilly sunshine, but exactly where it should be for the first part of February. High temperatures right around 20 degrees. All right. Thank, thank you, George. You well, we've got a lot coming up for you tonight at 6. It's been a deadly season for snowmobiles in the Northland with alcohol and speed contributing to many accidents. Find out how to stay safe on the trail this weekend. There's a ton of winter fun to be had in the Northland this weekend. We'll go live to moonlight skating here in Duluth. And in sports, a doubleheader in hockey. Tom Hansen will be live from Westman Arena with what could be the last rivalry game between the Yellow Jackets and Bemidji. It's all coming up tonight at 6. Coming up next on the NBC Nightly News, King Hussein has made his final trip to his homeland. We'll hear from the peacemaker in his own words next. We'll see you back here at 6.